Hey YouTube, I'm back again coming at you with some tips and tweaks for your Verizon Note 3. Um, we completed the major parts of modifying your phone on getting it rooted, um, on various firmwares, and finally installing a safe strap so you can install various ROMs. In the following videos, there's going to be a bunch of tweaks and mods that you can do to your phone to just make it that much better for you and that much more personalized for you. Now in this video, what I'm going to be showing you is how to remove advertisements from your phone. Now this is kind of a gray area because you know advertisements do help in paid developers and and companies for their work. You know that's really the era that we're in right now that advertisement is what pays the people for their work so with that be mindful of the developers and such if you like their application the reason they make their applications or the way they can make their applications free is because they have advertisement in them and if you go ahead and block them then that might not for all apps but that might that might put a dent in their advertisement uh, money that they get so be mindful in what you do with this really what I use it for is if I'm going and surfing through the internet you know on my web browser on there you know I have limited data so I don't want to be downloading unnecessary advertisements to be downloading my data and such so I use it for that so I'm gonna go ahead and show you this uh, this is meant for the Verizon Note 3 but this could work for a variety of other phones so let's go to the computer as you see right here it's called the mother of all ad blocking and there's currently 330,000 domains blocked and that's adware, malware, spyware, bloatware so it does more than just blocking advertisements so as a side note there's a whole bunch of little things that could happen as a side note uh, some Google Play, Amazon images, icons may be blocked because of it you know it's not as finite as it could be and as I said to as I said before right here in the red lettering the idea is to minimize ads not total eradication so respect the good developers. So like I said, support the developers for their applications. They build amazing apps. Support them. They probably have a premium version that uh, that gets rid of advertisements. Go ahead and you know pay that dollar or whatever it might be to support them in their work. So what this application does is it modifies the host file that your phone uses to pull information. So um, Android checks the host file before it queries the DNS servers, and then it what this zip file it is it's a zip file we're going to be flashing what it does it just changes that host file so so it can override the addresses that it's pulling from that DNS server so if the let's say that an application is trying to or a website is trying to pull some malware from where the DNS server is pointing to this host file will say no I recognize that in the 330,000 entries it will recognize that and prevent you from getting that malware or that spyware so it keeps you safe so compatibility this is compatible with the uh, all the way back to 2.2 all the way up to 4.3 X now it says it uh, that you flash it in clockwork mod recovery uh, that's a different type of recovery than what we have if you follow my series on the Verizon Note 3 we, we're using safe strap recovery so it'll work in that I've tried it before I'm gonna go through it with you and install it it'll work it's worked for me in more detail what is blocked in-app web ads in-app web trackers malware spyware domains tracker cookies malicious callback home app functions malicious third-party redu uh, redirection functions and possibly some level of virus and Trojan protection so it does block in-app uh, ads and in-app web trackers so there's good and bad there like I said um, support your app developers so this app is pretty big uh, of a download uh, let's go ahead and go down there's three different versions we're just gonna get the uh, recommended XDA there's a developer version and there's one to reset your host file to stock if anything goes wrong so it's gonna be the same process if you want to return it to stock than from what we're doing now so all you have to do I'm gonna post a link to this uh, XDA forum uh, post on the description down below all you have to do on the first post that it takes you to scroll all the way to the bottom of it and in the attached files section go ahead and download the zip file and there's two right here there's the first one is to reset your host file back to stock that's if you want to do that what we're gonna be doing is we're actually going to apply the modified host file which does the ad blocking 
So go ahead and select the second zip file here. It shouldn't take long. It's only two, almost three megabytes. And that's it. So you have a zip file. Copy this zip file over to your SD card on your phone. Just put it on the root of it. Uh, for easy access we're gonna access it in safe strap so go ahead and do that go ahead and put it on your phone on the SD card and then I will boot into safe strap and we'll continue on from there okay so the zip file is in my SD card I'm gonna go ahead and reboot the phone so go ahead and restart okay and then be sure to catch it on the safe strap menu to go into safe strap it's gonna be the left uh, soft button right here Go ahead and go into recovery and then you're in recovery so all you have to do is you don't have to mess with your boot options or anything your ROM slot that you're currently in is active so just go ahead and install and then navigate over to your SD card for me I have to navigate all the way back to root with a forward slash and then I have to go down to find for me usually I have to scroll down and go to external underscore SD and then find that file it should be on the root if you put it there and it'll be latest underscore ad blocking hybrid etc etc go ahead and select it and then swipe to confirm flash now there's there's nothing that says you have to wipe dalvik or anything because the host file is in a uh, in its own area so it really doesn't have to do anything so just as a quick rundown what it does it uh, analyzes and then it removes the old copy and then it installed it the latest host file um, and then de it deletes the user cache and it's all done so it does everything for you and it's automated so now I'm going to reboot the system and then you have the boot animation for the hyper drive ROM and we're back so with that you should be able to so with that all your advertisements and malware and everything you should be protected from it um, if you follow this website forum post bookmark it or whatever you like to keep up with it um, the latest update today's the 19th of December the latest update was on the 12th they do keep it updated pretty pretty frequently I'd say they updated about four times uh, a month at least uh, so they're really good with that if there's anything that needs to be updated on it. So keep up with this uh, forum post and uh, if you have any questions or anything, the XDA developers forum is an amazing place for the Verizon Note 3 or any other phone. So go ahead and check them out. Now I should have done this test before I did the ad blocking. That's my bad. You can test this out before you start. According to the website, the ad blocking is working. So I'm going to go to uh, the pcspy.com forward slash block ad block and I'm going to go ahead and test it. So I should get a pop up. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. And then what it says is, You are blocking my beautiful adverts, you swine. Fear my near limitless wrath. So, uh, this is a test document so pretty much it shows you if your ad blocking is working uh, it says if you're using ad block you shouldn't see any adverts on this page you should get a message pop up if you're blocking all JS JavaScript you you won't see anything happen so that's it you know there's no advertisements on it I can go up and down it's a single page so there you go all ad blocking is complete so that's a cool little tweak I like to use on my phone uh, it'd be nice if, if uh, hyperdrive included it into their uh, their ROMs uh, maybe there's something keeping them from that but uh, that's a cool little tweak I had to do after the fact so there you have it there's another tweak and tip that you can do for your Verizon Note 3 uh, again this can work for various other phones as long as you have rooted your phone and you have a recovery that you can flash zip files with successfully Alright, so if you like this video, please be sure to give me a like and raise my video up in popularity so more people can be helped out by my videos. If you have a Verizon Note 3, I have a whole entire series showing you how to root and install ROMs onto your Verizon Note 3 and make it more your phone and remove a bunch of bloatware and uh, stuff that's just bogging down your phone from, from reaching its full potential. So be sure to subscribe. There will be a lot more videos showing you a couple tips and tweaks on your phone. I just really thought this was a, a good necessary video y'all should have on how to block your ads and such and keep you safe. Please be sure to subscribe to see all my new videos that are going to be coming out as soon as they come out. 
All right, y'all have a good one.